conscious search for truth. Search for truth is always conscious. However, it is rare that anyone consciously begins the search for truth. It is always that the search begins unconsciously. You stumble upon a situation or circumstance that leads you to the inward journey. You have problems in your life, in your personal life, love life or anything else. And all of a sudden that triggers off your inward search. So it always happens unconsciously. But the search for truth really is conscious one. However, it is rare that anyone consciously begins the search for truth. Even priests are not interested in God and truth. Their whole business is business-like activities of the church. The very word God does not create any ripples in your heart it does not ring any bells either. It is something arbitrary and artificial, but bliss is natural. Everyone has felt it at some point in time or the other. Even trees are searching for it in their own way. In African forests, the tree grows so high, but why? The same trees do not grow high in India or anywhere else. In African forests they have to grow high, they have to grow taller because they want to have sunlight and forests are so thick and dense that if they do not grow taller they will not have any meeting with the stars or the moon and sunlight will not reach them. And that is their bliss. Their joy to dance in the wind and the clouds. They have to grow taller and taller so they can get the direct sunlight. Scientists are puzzled about a strange fact that somehow tree senses where and in what direction to send the roots. For example, if all its right side 500 yards away, there is a pipeline of which the tree cannot in any way be aware its roots will start moving towards the pipeline. And its roots would not move in any other direction. It has some subtle sense and if it knows instinctively where the water is, it seems as if the tree knows instinctively where the water is. This is their way of searching for the bliss because water is an important ingredient for the growth of the tree. Animals are searching the bliss in their own way. Man is searching bliss in his own way. The theists, atheists, the believers and non-believers are all searching bliss in their own way. Hence I say, bliss is the ultimate truth. If you love the word God, you can call it God. You love the word Nirvana, you can call it Nirvana. But Satyam, the ultimate truth, is the most beautiful word of all other words. The ultimate truth is the center of existence. It is bliss and everybody is moving towards it in one way or the other. The sentient, the insentient, all of them are moving constantly towards it in one way or the other. Those who are intelligent move consciously so that they can avoid unnecessary things unnecessary bypaths, so they are not worried about non-essential and they move directly. Those who are not so intelligent or so conscious, they go zigzag. They take long time, sometimes millions of life even, and man to a large extent comes in this category. He does not 
go in search of truth directly. Only when some circumstances and situations infringe upon him, that he stumbles upon something and then all of a sudden his search begins. Search for truth begins. And because it is not a conscious search, it is almost zigzag. We take a longer time, sometimes millions of lives. 